Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Are you thinking about lifting your Toyota Tacoma? You know, there are a few things to consider beyond simply lifting the Tacoma. You know, mine right now is not lifted. It does have different wheels and tires on it, of course, but you can probably see from the gapping in the front and the gapping in the back, it still has that kind of nose dive down look about it and check out that color in this lighting it's like a really cloudy day out here but man does that thing look freaking awesome anyway besides lifting alone there are three other things that you really should consider depending upon how tall you're going to go i guess with the lift and with your wheel and tire setup particularly the height of the tires i suppose now before we get into it there is one thing I want to mention. There is still a discount code out there for Pedal Commander. All the big sales are over. Their big $50 savings that they had. But you can still save $30 on this. Discount code RobMotive1 at PedalCommander.com. And this will be a must if you're going to put bigger, heavier tires on your Tacoma. Because you're going to notice that throttle lag even more. The number one mod for the Tacoma, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get on to the topic at hand. What are the three other things that you need to consider? Number one, the jack. Of course, you have to be able to jack it up in the air if you want to do anything like change a flat tire, if that should ever happen to you. Or maybe you rotate the tires yourself. You've got to have something that you can get under there to get the truck up, right? You will find, as I did when I went with a lift and bigger tires that the jack that came with the truck wasn't sufficient. I wound that thing until it was all the way up and I still couldn't get the truck off the ground high enough to be able to pull those big massive really heavy tires. By the way, don't ever mess with a guy that works at a tire shop. You know there's two types of people you shouldn't screw with. Farmers and guys that work at tire shops because they're strong. You don't believe me Go out, pick up one of those great big tires yourself. They're heavy. Or maybe I'm just old. I don't know. Anyway, the jack. You've got to get something that will work with the setup that you get. Now, there are those high lift kind of jacks that are designed to be placed underneath a jacking point on the side of your truck. You could use them in the front, maybe corner on the bumper if your bumper is set up that way. But don't think you can go buy one of those high lift kind of jack, you know, those ones that crank that have a little tongue underneath, because there's nowhere to hook them on to. You know, I had thought about getting one of those myself a while back, and it wasn't until I really got into researching them that I realized they wouldn't work on my truck. I didn't have anywhere that I could put that jack up against the side of the truck and then hoist it up in the air. And you want to know how important jacks are. Be careful. I saw a video of a guy recently. The channel's called Autovlog, right? Been watching this guy for a long, long time. He jacked up his car recently and it fell. It fell down. Maybe, maybe didn't. He doesn't know yet. Damaged his rotors. Busted a trim piece off the side. I mean, it was a disaster. Really nice car, by the way. Too bad that had to happen to him. Made for a great YouTube video. Not so good for the car itself. I believe he even damaged his door. Check him out. Next up, wheel chocks. Chocks? Chocks? I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but I'm talking about a block or something that you put underneath the tires. It should be called tire chocks. I guess they probably are. The point of them, obviously, is to keep the vehicle from rolling. That's what happened to this guy. He didn't put one of those underneath his wheel. The car was on a slant and the jack and everything. It was one of those jacks that has little wheels on it, you know, a floor jack. And the whole car rolled. Make sure that you put tire chocks, bricks, block of wood, anything to keep that tire steady so that the whole car doesn't roll back. Just a little tip, if you're out there somewhere, you're probably not going to be on a surface that's perfectly flat. Never hurts to be prepared, and even a little chunk of wood would be better than nothing. Lastly, the spare tire size. You know, when you put bigger tires on the truck, particularly if you go way bigger, 
obviously that spare that's underneath your truck right now is not going to work. Now, would it get you out of a pinch? Yeah, it probably would, but you'd be going down the road kind of like this, you know, because that tire is too small. And if you have to do that, make sure, and this adds to the length of the whole process, but make sure that you put those off-size tires or tire on the back. Don't put that tire on the front of your truck. Trust me, it's not going to work. Of course, if you're unlucky enough to have a front tire blow and you have one spare, you're going to have to do some moving around of tires. That's a bummer, but you definitely don't want the bad size tire to be on the front. Now, the other question is, I guess, is what do you do with that spare tire? You know, if you just try to stick it up underneath the truck, where the current spare is, it's not going to fit. I discovered that myself when I had gone, I believe it was with 285s on my previous Tacoma, not this one of course. I got under there and tried to put that tire up and if you've ever looked under there, it kind of has like, what do you want to call it, teeth or prongs or whatever that are kind of cupped. So the tire kind of sandwiches up in between them. Well, when you get the bigger tire, that doesn't work. So what I did, and it may not be the, uh, proper way to do it but I grabbed a sledgehammer and I just kind of beat those prongs I opened them up a little bit more so that I could hoist that tire up underneath the truck and it did work pretty well I didn't have any issues I was able to get it nice and snugged up there and I don't think there's any real problem with doing that the one thing that you probably want to look out for if you do that is that you don't create anything on the truck that's going to be an opportunity for rust Obviously, if you're beating on that tire holder in the back, you're probably going to knock some paint off. If you go too far, you might even crack that little tongue or curved part that you're opening up a little bit itself. Make sure that you only do it as far as you need to do it. Lastly, I guess, there is one more thing to consider. Those tires are very, very heavy. So, it might not be a bad idea to have a I don't know, some length of wood, a two by four or whatever, to kind of help you hoist that tire up to where it needs to be on the wheel itself. In other words, you can lay that piece of wood down on the ground, simply roll the tire up on it. It'll raise the tire up about an inch and a half if you're using a two by four. Maybe you get a couple of those. Two by sixes, put them together. Now you're going to be at three inches. You really shouldn't have the truck up any higher than that, so that ought to enable you to at least be able to finagle that great big heavy tire on the back. Again, trust me, if you've never lifted one of those yourself, give it a try. You'll be surprised at how heavy they are to maneuver, particularly, I think, more so because of the awkwardness of them. I mean, they're a big, heavy, round tire. They are quite heavy. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit. There's always more to anything that you do. If you're going to lift your truck, make sure that you consider the jack. Just a pair or one single wheel chalk is probably good enough, tire chalk. Um, and the spare tire so that you don't get stuck somewhere and think that you're going to be able to continue your journey without fixing whatever has gone wrong on the tire that's underneath the truck. Leave a comment. Let me know. Ever run into any trouble? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.